In the fight for control of Congress, the political battle lines are being drawn, literally. Right now, several states are in the middle of contentious struggles over redistricting, fights that could shape the balance of power in 2012. Here to help map it out for us, Nathan Gonzalez, deputy editor of the Rothenberg Political Report and a writer for Roll Call, and David Wasserman, house editor of the Cook Political Report, and a man so into redistricting that his Twitter handle is at redistrict. Thanks for the shout out. Really remarkable <laughs> stuff there. Okay, let's get right into it. I've got the iPad handy. Dave, let's start with Texas. Well, Texas is the home state of NRCC Chair Pete Sessions, and so there's been a lot of pressure on Republicans to draw a map that gives a lot of the four new seats in Texas to Republicans. Republicans drew three out of the four, but this could be the first skirmish between the Perry administration, which signed the Republican map into law, and the Obama Justice Department, which objects to it on the grounds that there aren't enough seats for Latinos. So the next court hearing in this case is actually on Halloween. Republicans are very spooked that their map could backfire. Right, a big moment, uh, absolutely, in terms of how, where and how minority districts should be created. Nathan, let's move to... Let me move back to Ohio. Uh, another big state, but a state losing seats. Ohio is a good example of even when the map is done and completed, it may not, the game may not be over. Uh, Ohio's losing two seats because of reapportionment and population loss. Right, well, as we see up there, by the way, Democrats and Republicans each losing a, a seat because they, uh, unlike Texas that had vast growth, slower than the average national population growth, down two seats. Right, Republicans were in charge of the, continue to be in charge of the process, but they, uh, they took an interesting tactic of saying, okay, we're going to lose one seat, but they chose to make a Columbus area Democratic seat that makes other congressmen like Pat Tiberi, Steve Stivers, the area make them much more Republican. And so instead of having maybe six competitive seats in Ohio, Democrats may only have a couple of targets. Now there is some ongoing legal uh, maneuvering there. there. It's a, so it's still a, Republicans think they're still going to get their map, but it could be a lot messier than what they I feel they like expected. a lot of these, are, it's a legal argument. Uh, but anyway, let's, let's keep moving. Dave, let's talk about New York. Uh, this is another state like Ohio. We've seen population in this country shift west and away from the northeast, a state losing two seats, a Democratic and, we assume, a Democratic and a Republican seat. Where are we? And it's a little early in the process, right? Yeah, we don't know yet. It's right. a conundrum. But DCCC Chair Steve Israel is from New York, and so there's a lot of pressure on Democrats and Israel to get a good map out of New York to give House Democrats a lot of opportunities to knock off Republican freshmen who were elected in 2010. But there's been a big push for reform in New York to try and take power out of the hands of the legislature. It's probably not going to happen. It's probably still going to be three men in a back room in Albany deciding the fate of the map, and it's going to come down to personalities and alliances much more than anything that actually makes geographical sense. Ah, yes. Love that redistricting. That could be. That should be the redistricting when you look it up in the in the dictionary. <laughs> uh, more more towards friendly than what makes rational sense. Nathan, let's finish up with Pennsylvania. This is another big state losing uh, a, a district. I feel like that's the old. If you live in the Northeast, if you're from the Northeast like me, the population is not uh, headed our direction. Losing a seat nationally. Where do we stand? Well, Pennsylvania uh, shows that what a difference ten years can make. Republicans are in control uh, of the process. Ten years ago, they tried to redistrict out Tim Holden. Uh, in the eastern part of the state this year. A Democrat. A Democrat. Right. This time, they're going to pack Democrats into a Tim Holden's district in order to make all the surrounding Republicans a little more safer. Uh, now, in the, in the western side, it looks like it's going to fall to a Democratic congressman, Jason Altmaier. He's going to have a, a tough decision to make, maybe run in a primary against one of his colleagues, or maybe have to challenge uh, a Republican congressman. So, Democrats are likely to lose one seat out of Pennsylvania, but the map, we'll probably see it next month. It's, it's not even released all right, yet. So Let's go from the five foot view to the 50,000 foot view. We're not, we skip the middle ground entirely on the daily rundown. Give me, I've got my fancy graphic. I want to do a little amalgam of your two predictions. Yes, it's early. We know I put all the caveats in. You will not be held to this except if you're wrong. Uh, give me your rough prediction, Dave Wasserman, on where you think we're at. 242 Republican seats right now. We're at 192 Democrats. If you're wondering, yes, there is one vacancy in Oregon. David Wu re resigned his seat. Uh, Oregon Democrat is going to be a special election. There, so yes, it adds up to 434. Don't send us emails. Uh, <laughs> Dave Wasserman, tell us where you think we're going to wind up when we're done with all of these map uh, drawings in, in November 2012. Well, we're talking redistricting alone, not anything to do with you know the seats that are going to go back and mm -hmm. forth next year based on the the regular politics of it all, but. 
out of redistricting, I think it's basically a wash, but Republicans have this advantage where they can basically move the goal lines, quarantine Democrats into very packed districts, mm -hmm. and so Republican votes are spread more efficiently. So Democrats could win the total popular vote for House by a couple points next year and still lose the House by a dozen seats or more. Uh, Nathan, give me a number. Think, give me a number for November 2012. With redistricting, the overall, I think overall. 242. Nathan Gonzalez. <laughs> well, the thing is, status quo Nathan, if you, if they you call tell him. Me, if you tell me where the un two, unemployment rate is, uh, then two, I think we'll have a better idea. So we've got 242 and we've got 192. Wow, Nathan Gonzalez, breaking news today. <laughs> Here we go. Will stay no exactly net as they are. Let me ask you this uh, Republicans control the House in 2013 or not? I think right now they do. I think Democrats make single digit gains as, as it stands. Democrats are having a tough time running under President Obama on the ballot at a time when a lot of these districts, he's under 40% in polls in districts that Democrats need to win to take back the House. Dave Wasserman at Redistrict on Twitter. Nathan Gonzalez at Nathan L. Gonzalez on the Twitter machine. Thank you both for joining me.